All right. So, uh, uh, frankly, a lot of bulls this week. I, I feel like there was a lot of bulls in this market. MULN, I'm swinging that one. Um, uh, uh, from yesterday, Tay swinging it, and she said one other guy was swinging it, and I was like, I mean that one, and that's that's exactly what Harry and I talked about, and what I talked about the webinar after, right? You know, just these stocks that are just starting to build the base and just lingering for whatever reason, right? Just for whatever reason, they're just lingering. Not enough days to show on the week, but you know, just you know, for whatever reason, you know, they pop up and they just kind of chill around. Um, if they have a decent enough catalyst or sector, I mean, you know, they're worth, you know, a lookout for a swing or a potential bigger time frame long trade or in a void on the short side, right? You see MULN popping and you say, you know what, I'm letting that one go. And I saw a lot of traders do that today and it was smart, right? You just let it go. So, um, uh, I mean, that was good and a good example of that one. Uh, another bull that we had, uh, B, you know, Vicky, that was the China one, had a nice squeeze on it. ASTS, RKDA, these stocks are all lingering, and I'll go over them after. I'm going to start incorporating a watch list for me uh, for the next week. Um, I was going to make it fair and do a short watch list too, but you guys get enough short watches, right? Alex makes a short watch list. Val makes a short watch list. Tom makes a short watch list. James tells you what he's looking at, right? So I'm going to start doing, you know, kind of watch. These are going to be more like watch lists for the weeks. Like the next week, I'm going to be looking at these stocks kind of on us. I'm going to have these stocks on my side chart every single day. Uh, pick. Oh, shit. No, actually, no. Pick. Yes, it was going to be on here. But actually, like I said, pick if it closes strong. I made this I made this slide in the middle of the day kind of because I saw pick kind of like I saw pick. It was kind of like chilling midday. I'm like, huh. That one looks like it could probably squeeze end of the day. <laughs> I should have fucking bought it. So I wrote this slide in the middle of the day and I was like, oh yeah, pick if it closes strong. And well, pick, you know, we saw what pick did, it closed strong. So yeah, pick should have been on that list, but I did this slide hours ago. I did, I did this slide when it was like around here. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Um, but yeah, definitely pick is on the bull side for sure. We'll see how it opens tomorrow though. Like it's going to be really shitty if this opens it's going to be really shitty if this opens sub 450 and it and then they're like it could open like gap down tomorrow kind of open pre-market it could be trading around the four as long as it like bounces here off the 40s and stuff and like as long as it kind of stays alive if it if it's like testing four in pre-market tomorrow i'm not gonna like that at all that's not gonna be very bueno like it would need something really bullish after that you know like it would need like a strong you know, it, you know, it, I mean, it would need to hold four tomorrow, right? Like it, it would need to try to like dip under four and there, there would need to be a bid that wouldn't let it, like it would try to go to 390, 380, nope, it got bought the fuck back up at 380, right? We, if we start seeing that tomorrow, like a dip and it just, and it's just like holding like a bid under, under four and it starts to grind, uh, I'll be looking on that one for the potential for next week, but tomorrow we'll get an idea for that. That's going to be my, my thing on pick. Yeah, you would use the service. Um, yeah, right. All moms, all parents. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we'll see tomorrow. I mean, the thing, I, I don't want it to open lower, but if it does open lower, then that's kind of what you have to look at is like, do, you know, is there a bid just that, that does everyone like four is the level and people are seeing anything under four is a steal, right? If it does kind of like that kind of shit, you know, around four or just under four, then, uh, then, you have, then we have something to look out for Monday. But yeah, definitely pick as a bull for this week so far. And basically all the energy names kind of got trashed. I mean, they were, I mean, they were up extended too far. I was hoping there was going to be a round two on them, but really it doesn't look like it, right? As far as the energy sector momentum, I mean, this, we'll see. I mean, the, I, I didn't actually know that it closed strong today. That's actually pretty good. But, uh, you know, for the last week, it's been shit. We'll see if it can have a second win. I think this is, uh, not going to happen. Uh, it, it just, I feel like it would have held, it would have maybe bounced back super strong immediately. Now it kind of has a long way to go. These energy names, they're pretty beaten. Yeah. I, yeah. See, IMPP is done. And what the other one? HUSA. Yeah. These are just a little too far broken. I mean, you know, of course, anything can happen, right? Like it's not impossible for it to start going back to tens, but 
I wouldn't bet on it. And I'm not looking to swing any of these at all. Uh, what is the other one? Nine. Yeah, nine is the same. Like, it, 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 this is almost like dead cat bounce stuff, you know? Oxy. That one was a little bigger name. Yeah, that's a bigger name. Yeah, so that's not any of the, 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 shit, the shit caps. But yeah, that one's doing okay. That one's probably tracking. Um, that one's probably tracking USO more. I would imagine that one would track uh, USO more. Yeah, so energy weeks are, are bearish for sure. Uh, and I don't see them having a round two. Um, we, there would need to be, there would need to be like another really strong day or something like, you know, a, another volume day. Like I would need to see another volume day. As long as we don't have volume on these, on these stocks, I don't think we're going to get around to. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, energy names in the shitter. I don't think that they're going to have a second run. That's just my opinion. I was hoping, but, oh, I don't know why I put pick on the bottom. I don't know why I put pick there. Pick should not be here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so pick if it closed strong. Uh, I, I was looking at EIGR today. It, it was a lower volume stock, but I really liked how it didn't break down, did it eventually? Oh, no, it didn't. Yeah. So this is, I think, a pretty bullish factor. I mean, it was easy to borrow, but like still, like it helped. This stock helped. So that was pretty bullish. Um, really annoying if you shorted that. You know, you just didn't get it out, and it looked like such a grinder in, um, in the morning, such a grind. Even here, that's a grinder. Its first pop was a grinder. Um, but yeah, just kind of held on really annoyingly if, if you were short. So I think that's a pretty bullish factor of, of the market. Like normally this stock, it didn't have that much volume, but it held. So that's something. 